If you found this video after doing a YouTube search for sexy triplets, let me welcome you to a surprise guitar lesson. But stick around for a while because I think the triplets are the sexiest of the subdivisions and we're going to talk about how you can incorporate them in your guitar playing. But before we do this, to get a better perspective on what triplets are, we are going to look at them in the context of a drum kit and percussion. All right, well here we are at the drum kit. Now, whenever you're subdividing a beat, basically if you have like a metronome or a tempo that's just like one, two, three, four, that's every single beat, right, in a bar. Now we can start subdividing these, we can start breaking them up, splitting them up. So instead of having one, two, three, four, we have one and two and three and four and, right? We can also go one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and. They're all, we're symmetrically breaking out. I just broke, broke those up into fourths, right? Now a triplet is kind of interesting. We can do it a couple different ways. You can go triplet, 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 triplet. So again, so one, two, three, four, one and two and three and four and triplet, 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 triplet. Now if you notice, I'm going left hand to right hand. Left, right, right, left, right, right, triplet, triplet. There are a lot of different ways you can do it. You do it with one hand, triplet, 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 triplet. And I'm, dynam I'm dynamically accenting the one on each of these, right? Now, another way to do it that I think drummers kind of like prefer in just my own personal experience is to go back and forth with your hands, right? So in that case, instead of going left, right, right, left, right, right, you're going triplet, 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 triplet. So you're always going left and right. You're never switching. You're just accenting differently. So the first time you'll accent on left, one, two, three, right, two, three, triplet, 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 triplet. And we're gonna show how that kind of thing can be applied to strumming uh, any kind of guitar and then using kind of like these basic principles of rhythm in a triplet way on a different instrument. So now that we kind of have a grasp on what triplets are, we're going to first incorporate them into our strumming. And the way we're going to do it is we're just going to mute the strings, hold the whole string set so it's not making any noise, and we're going to incorporate what we just saw on the drum kit into your picking or if you want to play with your fingers or whatever, how you do it. So now just like on the kit, how we can do triplets with alternate hands, right? Kind of like... You can do the same thing, but think of it as your hand, like your left hand, your right hand, as a downstroke and an upstroke. So uh, again, like we said before, we could do like a left, right, right, left, right, right thing by going down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, right? And if like that's our tempo, one, two, three, four, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. Another way to count triplets, is two, people do it two different ways. Sometimes they'll say the beat that they're on and the word triplet as in two syllables. Other times people will say triplet as three syllables, triplet, 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 triplet. I kind of go back and forth. There's really no wrong way to do it. But again, so if we're just doing this muted chord thing, right? We can do it a couple different ways. We've got the one triplet, two triplet, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down. Now, the thing is, you could easily just be playing in three, four timing. What we wanna do is we wanna throw these triplets into a different kind of set. So if we go like one, two, triplet, four, one, two, triplet, four, one, two, triplet, four. So kind of by Focusing in on that one beat and adding a triplet there, you'll get a better sense of how you can seamlessly come in and out of triplets, right? Now, I think a more useful way to strum triplets is to keep a steady hand and kind of like on the drum kit where we were dynamically accenting the triplet. So you're always going left and right. You're always going up and down. And this will make you a really better or a really good guitar strummer, right? If you can strum triplets like triplet, 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 triplet. And that's where this kind of deadened trick helps, right? So what I'm doing is I'm accenting the first note of a triplet. So accenting, I'm just hitting a little bit harder. One, two, three, one, two, three. So you'll notice every time I go through a triplet, the accent is going to be on a different stroke. I'll start with the down stroke, then I'll have two softer up and downs, then the next accented stroke will be up. So I'm going down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Right? So now if we incorporate an open chord, like I'm just gonna take a, I'm gonna take an A minor chord, right? And uh, you can do the same thing. So once you kind of get that that rhythm ingrained, 
you'll be able to do a lot of really cool stuff and your, your strumming is gonna improve. Now, one thing that's easy to do when you're first trying to do triplets is actually playing them kind of incorrectly and leaving a space after the, after the third one, right? So again, if we just have one, two, three, four, you can subdivide that into ands, right? So like one and two and three and four and, you could do even more, have four strokes per beat, one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a, and I see I hear a lot of players kind of confuse with the triplet. So uh, I've heard a lot of players kind of do like a one e and a two e and a, and what they're doing is they're leaving that fourth beat open. They're not really playing symmetrical triplets. They're not cutting a beat into thirds. They're just not playing the fourth note of a quarter, right? So the best way to do that is really just to get an ear for it. Triple it, triple it, triple it, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So by breaking up triplets, you're kind of breaking up the monotony and just kind of taking yourself out of the flow so you can recognize the flow of a triplet better, right? So the first three beats are gonna be triplets and the fourth one is just gonna be downstroke. Triple it, triple it, triple it, four. Actually, I'll make it an upstroke, right? So triple it, triple it, triple it, up. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four. Now, another really important use for triplets is to actually use them within a scale or a solo or something like that. And this is also a good lesson for alternate picking. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take the first eight notes of E minor. We're gonna make it easy. We're gonna make it just open, two, three, open, two, three, open, two, right? So those are our eight notes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now with your picking hand, I want you to go down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, right? Don't go down, 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 down. It's gonna be much better practice for you to go down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Now, the way we're gonna introduce triplets is we're gonna do these in three note bursts and then go back one and then go three forward, right? So we have eight notes total, we're gonna play three. One, two, three, and I'm going triple in, right? Down, up, down. And then I'm gonna go back one note through the scale. So I was started open, two, three. Now I'm gonna go two, three, open A. So I'm advancing one note further through the scale, but I'm still keeping this kind of triplet feel to it, right? So it starts going three notes at a time, open, two, three. I'm gonna go back one, two, three, A, back one, three, a, 2A, back one, open A, 2A, 3A, back one, 2A, 3A, open D, back one, 3A, open D, 2, right? So, triple it, triple it, triple it, triple it, triple it, triple it. Then you can end it on E chord. So you can really develop a lot of speed. You can do this with any scale. Even like, uh, let's take like an A minor pentatonic, do the same thing, right? So A minor pentatonic is just, if we start on five, we're gonna go five, eight, five, seven, five, seven. And we'll go all the, all the way through. So five, eight, five, seven, five, seven, five, seven, five, seven, five, eight, five, eight, right? So one, two, three, triple it, 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 triple it. And then you do the same thing backwards. So really doing that in an alternate picking way is a great way to develop speed. And again, you get the feel of how a triplet sounds and then you can kind of work those into context. And remember, try to stagger, like if you're strumming or doing solos or whatever, just scale practice, try to stagger one beat as a triplet and then another one just as maybe like a regular, like a one and two and triple it four. One, two, three, four. One and two and triple it four. One and two and triple it four. Because if you do all four of them as triplets, you're really not gonna get the ability to kind of switch in and out of them at will, which is something that you really wanna do.